is Joe Tamargo from BeerandCouch.com. All right, so we've got a brand new YouTube channel. This is our first intro video here with my boy Robert. What's up, man? Good How you doing? All right, so if you enjoy craft beer, or you're someone that's starting to enjoy craft beer and you really know nothing about it, me and Robert are going to explain to you the differences between craft beer, which kind of beer goes with good, the different kinds of food. So, like, say you're going out on a date with your boyfriend, and he's like, hey, do you like craft beer? And you're like... I told him I like craft beer on Craigslist, man, and I don't know my beer. And you go out and on that first date, right? And he's like, yo, so what kind of craft beer do you like? And you're like, uh, uh, I like Guinness. And like, he's like, oh, really? And like, and we're not saying Guinness isn't bad, right? But the guys at our favorite beer store, okay, we'll give a shout out to them in the first episode, Nathaniel's Corner Store over in Rochester, New York. What do they say about the, the Guinness, man? It's black water. Black water. So, yes, that's why the Irish can drink all day. Because it's only like, I think like 4% or 5% alcohol. Not that it's good, it's great. It's something to wake up, you know, you wake up on Saturday and there's no milk for your Cheerios. Guess what? It's like a chocolate milk with your Cheerios. Good stuff, but you have to be 21 to enjoy it. Okay, so moving forward, like we'll teach you about these other beers. Like here's someone here. This is called a uh, Ale Smith ESP, which stands for Extra Special Bitter. Now, a lot of people think, oh my God, it's bitter. Oh, I don't want my beer to be bitter. But actually, it has a C hop in it. It's 5% alcohol. And it tastes really good, so you would think bitter, but it's not really a bitter beer. And we'll do a review on that. You know, here's another beer here, uh, made by Oscar Blue. Shout out to Colorado. What's up? This is a great beer called G Night. Good night. You know what I mean? It's an, a nine percent beer. You know, we got had other beers here. We review like Black Canning. Great. We've actually had that on tap. Oh, knocking over the Bengal. This is made by Six Points, local brewery. What's up, Six Points? How you doing? We've enjoyed all your flavors too. All right, so like here's another great beer. This is one of our favorite beers that we'll tell you about this beer. It's uh, called Alice Point Imperial Porter Stout, uh, mixed with Victoria C. It's a great beer. It's got like a coffee taste, really thick, but like one pint glass, and you're like, woo, you feel the heat. And we'll explain what all these terms mean. So if this is your first time watching, and you're like, all right, slow down, big boy. You know what I mean? You helped me fix my pool pump, and that was cool. But what do you mean by heat? You know, I, I, when I drink beer, I think of coolness. Well, one little tip we'll tell you in the first video. Heat is like something you feel like, you know, when you go out to a bar, you have a couple of drinks, you're like, wow, man, I'm just got to sweat, perspire. Well, that's these beers are so strong, like 9%. Like, you just take a couple sips, and you're like, Whew. need to take off the coat, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So that's how it is. But they're really flavorful. You know, we have we don't have a lot of stuff. We didn't want to overcrowd the table. So what we did is we, we laid out a whole bunch of beer caps, you can see here. We've drinking everything from, you know, we'll drink. Uh, we've drank everything from Magic Hat, you know, Eye of Darkness, you know, to Imperial Stouts, Porters. We're going to teach you the difference between an IPA, right, and a difference between a beer with hops. But what kind of hops? You know, some people say, oh, my, that beer was really hoppy. You know, and they're like, okay, you obviously don't know what you're talking about because all beer, well, not all beer, but a lot of beers are made with hops. And and if you're watching this video now and you're like, yeah, well, you know, what do you really know? Like, I'm just watching you on YouTube and you're like, oh, does this guy know anything? And I'm, look, there's probably a lot of guys that know more than us. Oh. And we're not trying to, like, teach brewmasters here. We're just trying to teach you. Maybe you just turned 21 or maybe you're 30 and you, you just got divorced and now you have some money and you're like, hey, I want to go out and have some good beers, my boys. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to teach you about the beer. And the thing is, like, a lot of beer has hops, some beers made with corn, some beers made with wheat. So we're going to tell you which is a good wheat beer, because depending on the day, the temperature, what you're eating, when you're eating it, who you're eating it with, you know what I mean? Like, we were just at the beer store, and we were talking about this local beer. And we're not going to even mention the beer, because we don't want to give anyone the wrong impression, because that's not cool. But the guy was like, yeah, it's great beer, man, but I, I really got to poop after I drink it. And, like, that's cool, right? Because we all know how it is, you know, like, I used to hear that about other beers when I was in high school and stuff. But the thing is, like, you know, if you're going out with your girlfriend for the night, and you're like, let me pick up a pack, a 12-pack of that, and all of a sudden, like, you know, you're expecting other things to happen, and you wind up in the bathroom all night. Not cool. Where where you could take, like, a 9% here, like a ballast point, right, have one beer, like me and Robert, you'll see us do in their videos, and in one beer, which is one pint glass, or one, you know, 16-ounce glass, you know, you're, like, feeling good. You know, it's one beer, you hang out, you have a meal, you know what I mean? You do a little cuddling and you're good to go. Or maybe you want to go out with your boys, you know, and you want to drink something cool, like I said, like this. Or we're going to teach you about the different kinds. This is another great beer. If you're one of those people that like to work till four in the morning, like me, um, I like to make these videos. You probably see me on Robert on the channels. You're probably like, how does this guy ever do this? Well, I like to go to bed sometimes. And when, I'm, when I want a beer to like kind of like relax me and taking it easy, I'll drink something like this. It's a 9%. It's in a can. I don't drink it out of the can. I like to pour it into a glass, but it's a really good beer. 
All right, so thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're going to be pumping out a lot of videos telling you about all these beers, showing you some drinking them, and you, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please go to beerandcouch.com. That's B E E R. N C O U C H beer and couch.com. You got t shirts available, all kinds of reviews. You can sign up and let you know what you like the best and actually recommend stuff to me and Robert because we're told you want to try it. Uh, we're totally will. All right, thanks for coming, man. Robert's going to shut off the video camera because, like you've seen in other videos, we totally don't have like a giant studio. Hopefully, maybe somebody will send us a beer sign. All right, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Peace.